A naval combat system developed in South Jersey has proven adaptable enough for missions far beyond its original design, including ballistic missile defense. Development of the Aegis system started in the 1970s with RCA and continues today with Lockheed Martin. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. The Aegis system, launched in the 1970s, integrated a number of different technologies that normally would have been developed separately, radar and electronics, shipboard guns and missiles, and software to help evaluate threats, make quick decisions, and control weapons. From the outset, Rear Admiral Brad Hicks says the Navy and its industrial partners used the Aegis program to hone a new approach to development. The Navy saw the uh, increasing Soviet threat and the Soviets had gone to uh, large-scale cruise missile attacks, either air launch, ship launch, or submarine launch. And these waves of missiles, the, it was acknowledged we needed something to deal with it, or the, the Cold War strategy of resupply of Europe and uh, sustainment of the sea lanes wouldn't be viable. And they came with a concept of, from the get-go, create an integrated weapon system. And out of that evolved ages. And back then it was the old RCA plant here in Morristown. And they were the initial uh, winners of the contract. Working today with Lockheed Martin, the Navy is testing the Aegis system's readiness for a new mission as the sea-based element of ballistic missile defense. In addition to testing the system's capability to destroy missiles or warheads in space, and this February, carrying out the unusual mission of shooting down an ailing U.S. spy satellite, the team has also pitted it against what was described as a Scud-like missile. That test, in June, demonstrated the potential to destroy short-range missiles in their last phase of flight. The people that originally designed the system had enough foresight, without knowing what that new mission would be, to, to build enough margin into the system so we could do what we do today. Lockheed Martin Program Director Jimmy Carter leads a team of hardware, software, and systems engineers whose aim is, as they say, to be able to hit a bullet with a bullet. Hicks and Carter both credit the closeness in terms of geography as well as collaboration between the R&D labs and the Navy's so-called cornfield cruiser. The testing is all, a lot of it's done right here at this site, and you do that with sailors, so you're actually testing with people that will go to war and use the system. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Moorestown.